and here we are on my fire os 7 device and what do we see i go to all of my applications and no more gray icons so all of my favorite applications all of my favorite third-party applications now all have the correct logo associated with them so no need to use custom launchers no need to use those text banners we can now use all of our favorite applications and access them directly with their correct shortcuts now i've been looking for a fix for this issue for a long time and the fix i'm going to be showing you today is firstly very very easy to do but also i'm going to show you how us as a streaming community can all provide support to each other because I'm going to be creating an online app repository which will host all of these app shortcuts so with your help we can really fix this problem for everybody so do take a moment to hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started. if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you so i'm doing my demonstration on the second generation fire tv queue but as you guys know this issue with the gray tiles or the application icons missing is present on any fire os 7 device so now in my example we can see if i go to uh, my applications and here we can see on my device I've got these three applications here which don't have the correct banner tile or the app icon now uh, in your example you'll have different applications but hopefully once you see the process for these three applications you can then repeat it on your device and I'll show you at the end how we can actually share all of our fixes together on my website now what we're going to do is firstly identify these three applications and probably the easiest way to do that is just press the context key which is one with the three lines and select uninstall because that will then give you the application name so here we can see the first one is the fast task killer the second one is the aurora store and lastly we have me explorer so three application names there but what we're actually looking for is the package name now the easiest way to find the package name is if you open up your developer tools menu and if you don't have that on your device you can just say open developer tools menu and this will either start the application or give you the option to install it now when you get to this screen if you press back on the remote and you're actually looking for one of his other shortcuts which is the app info manager so click on that now in my case i already have it installed and again if you don't have it installed you'll get the option to install it so what you want to do here is, is find those applications with the missing tile and this will then give you the package name. So the first one we had in the list was the Aurora store. Let's click on that. And when I click on that, at the top we can see that the package name for this application is com.aurora.store. So make a note of that somewhere. Let's press back. That's the first one. Next up we have the Me Explorer. Let's click on that. And there's a package name at the top there. That's two. And the last one in this demonstration, we had the very popular Fast Task Killer. Let's click on that. And we can see that it has a quite long name. So jp.snowlife01 and the rest of it. So make a note of the package names. And let's now jump over to my browser. And let's now navigate to this website. And I will leave a link in the video description. Now this process you only have to do once per application. And as I said at the start of this video, I'll be sharing all of the shortcuts that I create on my website. Now this website is mega easy to use and it literally takes about 30 seconds per application. So let's start with the first one, which was the fast task killer. Now the app name can be anything because you're only creating a shortcut pointing to the real application. So I can just call it FS fast task killer. I'll just put SC at the end so I know it's a shortcut. Now the package name, which is the most important thing, I'm just gonna paste that in. There it is, that's the package name. And I now need to upload an app logo or alternatively an app banner. Now I've just been uploading app logos because I just find it a lot quicker, but if you want to take it to the next level, you can actually create custom banners for your applications. So for the app logo, I can just scroll down and it tells me that you can find the logos on the Play Store, on APK Mirror or APK Pure. So and let's just try this one over here. Let's just type in Fast Task Killer. There it is. So I can now click on that. I can now do a right click, do Save Image As, click on Save. Let's now go back to the website. It says, what's the app logo? I can click on choose file, 
choose the same icon I've just downloaded and click on open. And that's it guys, I can now click on generate APK. So it takes about 20 seconds and this will now create a shortcut to your application. And in this example, it'll create a shortcut to the fast task killer. And the great thing is, it doesn't matter if you update your application or if you add a newer version, as long as the package name stays the same and it typically does, you can always use your special shortcut to the application. And here it is guys, so it's telling us that this is the app you've just created. I can now download the APK. Here it is, and that's the APK downloaded. Let's now do the next one. Uh, let's go for me explore. So let's call this me X. Again, it's a shortcut. And the most important thing, the package name, put the package name in. Let's now find the icon for that. So let's search for uh, me explore. Now this one looks quite nice. Let's now save the image. Click on save. Let's go back to the website. Click on choose. I can now go for that one. That's it, that's ready to go. I can again click on Generate APK. Give that a couple of seconds. And that will then be two applications that we now have shortcuts for. And then we'll do the last one, which is the Aurora Store. Here we are, that's now Me Explorer. I can now download that. That's two applications. Let's now do the last one, which is the Aurora Store. So Aurora, there's the package name. Let's try APK Mirror for an icon, so Aurora Store. Here we are, I can now click on that. Let's now save the icon, click on save. Let's go back to the website. Let's click on choose logo. And let's now add in the last one. So that's three out of three and click on generate APK. And we now have the three applications ready for us to transfer over to our Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube. Now for you to transfer that, you can use an application like, like Easy Fire Tools, or in my example, I'm just gonna use ADB Link. So let me do that now. Now I've covered using ADB Link in another video, but it's very, very straightforward to do. You can just create a new connection. You can type the IP address of the device you want to push these applications to. So I can just click on Install APK and click on Open. So do you want to install this APK? In fact, let me jump over to my cube so you can see it as well. So that's the cube at the moment with those three missing applications. Let's go back to ADB link. So do you want to install this APK? Let's click on yes. Give that a second. And do we see? And there it is guys. We now have the shortcut to the Aurora store and we can now use that to launch our application. So let me now push the other two. And there it is guys. So we now have three icons for the three applications. So for example, if I click on uh, this, this should take me straight into Me Explorer and it does. Now, in case you're wondering, what do we do about the, the gray tiles? Well, because these are the actual applications themselves, but we don't need to have them on our home screen. So I can now just press the context key and click on hide from your applications. So that's now gone. Let's also hide this one. And lastly, let's hide this. So all of the gray tiles are now away from your app library, but you can now use your custom shortcuts to take you directly to those applications. Now that's the first part of the video and I do appreciate you guys watching and sticking around. In fact, if you guys are still here with me, then if you leave the comment below, hashtag FireTV, then I will give you a heart to your comment. Now the last part of the video, what if you don't want to create any of these shortcuts yourself, you'd rather download them pre-configured for you? Well, that's where my website is going to come into play because all of the shortcuts that I create, I'm going to host on my website, but I'm also going to allow you guys to submit all of your shortcuts as well. So what that means is we can have a single page with shortcuts to all of the popular applications that you can go ahead and download on all of your devices. So let's open up Downloader and we can now type in this special address, which is just bit.ly forward slash tduk apps. So let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. And this will take you directly to my tutorials page where we can now see this new app shortcut library. And let's scroll down. This just explains what the issue is. And just underneath all of that, we now see my shortcut. So, so the first link here is if you want to create your own shortcuts, you can click on this link here and then follow the process I've shown you. And we now see underneath that, all of the shortcuts I've already made. So if you have any of these applications on your device and they're not showing the icon properly, you can now download this shortcut and this will then fix the issue for you straight away. 
So that's going to be for most of you. You can just use these shortcuts. But if you want to help out the community and you want to submit your shortcuts, well, if you go underneath all of that, there'll be a separate link here saying click here to submit your own shortcuts. Now do this on your phone or on your PC. It'll be a simple form. It'll just ask you for the name of the application and you can then share your app shortcut. That will come straight to me. I can then add that to my website and we can all together help the streaming community. But let's say for example, um, you've got a Peacock TV on your device. It doesn't have the icon. All I need to do is click on this link here. Scroll down and I can now download the shortcut on my device. Let's click on install. And this is just installing that shortcut for you, which will show you the icon properly. Let's click on done. Let's go back to applications. And there we have it guys. We now have the fully working shortcut to Peacock TV. So I can now click on this and click on hide from your apps. So I can now use this to open the application. And we now see the correct icon both for Peacock and for HBO Max, which again means I can now hide this application for my app library so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching sorry that the video was a little bit long but i just wanted to show you the entire process so you can go ahead and fix all of your applications yourself and at the same time also to show you that if you don't want to go through the longer process you can go straight to my website and download some of those pre-configured shortcuts for you and you can also submit any shortcuts that you've created and i'll then add them to my website so really do appreciate your support do leave me a comment below let me know what you think and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks